the water. It's getting a 47, a good 47, not like a stainless steel 47. And I've got me a, I think it's 14 karat gold. With a little heart, I mean, a star diamond set on it. something and last year it really produced a really good amount of rings 12 rings in two different trips over there one week apart and I think about four or so or six were gold rings one was a big gold ring and uh, so headed back over there today uh, this this is about a week after Memorial Day and to see how this is going to turn out I'm hoping it's no one's hunted it yet because right now the lake seem to be full they are in East Texas anyway I've been having a good run this year already on some uh, on rings. I think I'm already up to 32 at the time of making of this video. By the time you watch this video, uh, I'm going to probably be about double that. But anyway, I got a little ways to go, and I will see you guys once I get on location. I made it out to location hardly anybody here lake looks good so let's get in let's see what we can find if I find anything I'll definitely show it to you so let's go well I've been out here about an hour dug that bracelet that earring and uh, just got a good 70 signal, kind of jumpy. And I uh, got my first ring for the day. So maybe I can average one an hour, I'll be doing good. But I'm out here a little over waist deep water. Another tungsten ring. I figure that'd be the first one that I find. I always find tungsten out here, a lot of them. Alrighty, let's uh, keep on going. We'll put that one on the carabiner and see if we can add a few more to it for the rest of the day. Well, I was getting a good 50 signal and uh, I pulled it up and a big clump fell out of my scoop and went down the water and it, that was this was in that clump and I scooped it back up and uh, I'm not certain on what type of ring that is ringing up as a 50 it's too low to be a tungsten but it feels like a tungsten on the inside it's it could be titanium it's not stainless steel stainless steel is going to ring up lower in the 40s this is a 50 which this very well could be titanium, but it's not marked titanium. It's got a marking called Viceroy in it. And so I don't know, I have to look this one up. That's a pretty ring though. All right, the second one, still in the same area right here. So let's keep on going. Getting a, a good 87, I thought it was just gonna be a quarter. And it turned out, I saw when I pulled it up, I saw that chain in the basket I showed you. And that's going to be a silver chain and a silver St. Christopher. It's tarnished. That's going to be silver. All right. I ain't got my cross today, but I got my religious medallion now. And uh, still in the same area. I'm going to hunt this a little bit more. Just kind of going slow. It's real trashy on the bottom. And uh, so that's a nice find. Now this is a first for me, still out here in that same area, getting another uh, 50, but kind of a different sounding 50. It wasn't quite, excuse me, a nickel uh, sounding 50, but um, anyway, I was trying to read the, uh, the brand on the inside or the, the type of ring it is, and it's not tungsten, it's not stainless, it's not titanium. This is a first for me, it's a cobalt. It's a cobalt ring, never heard of that. So that's ring number three out of here. Just Keep taking my time, there's got to be more. Let's keep on going. All men's rings. Whoa. 
But check that out. Getting a real scratchy 50, 60. I got me a, a rosary bead, I believe. It's got uh, the Madonna on it. And then Preacher Digger got his cross for the day. It's an episode, isn't it? All right, let's keep on looking. That's a good find. I don't think it's gold. I think it's just gold plated or gold colored. But we'll look at the clasp later on. Well, I stepped out, took a break, got me some uh, some uh, hydration in me, and uh, started making my way over here to this other side of the lake. And been over here about five, ten minutes, and got my first ring. It's ringing up a 45. Uh, it uh, may be a stainless steel, but there's no marking. But it feels like a tungsten, but I don't think it's tungsten. It's too light. I think it's just a real nice stainless steel ring, or it could be titanium. It's real, real light. Uh, sun is too bright. I can't see in the inside. That ring's too shiny, and I don't have the eyes. So we'll see what it is at the wrap up. But anyway, that's ring number four. And uh, so it's paying off to come over today. All right. All right, just a matter of feet away from that other ring is a another. This is ringing up a 47. It's one of those personalized rings. It says Katie on it. And uh, it's the uh, first one of the year that I got one of these. I usually get three or four of these. But uh, nothing precious. I'm going for that silver. I haven't got a silver. I haven't got a gold yet. And so uh, let's keep looking for those. Well, I came back over here on the other side of the lake where I found the first three rings. Uh, it went quiet on that other side. Came over here. Went, got hydrated one more time. Came out. Got a 47. And it says, check this out. Don't drop it. It says, Her King. Her King. It's a guy's ring. And it's her king, whatever that means. But it's another tungsten ring. Well, where's the silver and the golds at these these days? Hardly any of those. But uh, hey, I'm happy. That's ring number six and two necklaces. And so let's keep on rolling. I got about another hour and a half, two hours to go. Well, I'm back out the lake this morning at a new swim area. So we're going to see what we can get. Had a great day yesterday and going to try to top it off the day and hit three little holes and then head to the house and shoot a wrap up. So let's go see what we can find. Well, <clears throat> I've done the shallow end and uh, didn't find anything but two quarters. Moved on to the deep end, a little over waist deep of water. It's getting a 47, a good 47, not like a stainless steel 47. I've got me a, I think it's 14 karat gold with a little heart, I mean, a star diamond set on it. I started to wonder if this has been detected. I don't think it's been detected. I think it's just not much out here since I was out here just about four days ago. But first ring of the day, a gold one. Check that out. All right, let's see what else is in here. Well, I moved on to another swim area and this is I've been here about five minutes this is my first target I don't think it's gold it looks gold the clasp looks gold but I can't see any markings on it. it's little uh oh almost have to go search for it again um, it's a little turtle with like diamonds on it if it was gold that'd be really neat I think it's just gonna be costume jewelry uh, we'll look at it later on I didn't see any markings but man my eyes are they're worse than Plugmaster Ford's eyes. I have no sight anymore. All right, let's keep going, see what else we can get here. I was getting a real floaty signal, so I was trying to scoop it up with my scoop, and uh, finally it was just floating right on top of the water, and I couldn't get it, and I had to put my foot down on it to kind of scoop it up underneath my foot, and it came up being this uh, action cam. Check this out, it still works, it still works. And uh, I'll take the SIM card out on this thing. And uh, it's an Akaso 4K. I got it on right now. Check that out. And uh, it hasn't been in the lake very long. It must have just come off the, uh, the thing there. What do you call that thing? The mount. And um, just kind of floating along. It could have come out a little deeper water. Just kind of the wave actions out of the north today. So it could have kind of pushed it up. But you just never know what you're going to find in a lake. 
and so that's why I like it I just came over here for about two hours just kind of doing shoulder deep water and this is what I got we'll uh, take the sim card out we're gonna look at it and see if we can find an owner or find what footage it may be on there or something like that if not I'll just keep it but uh, anyway a nice find that's better than a ring no telling what these things cost probably a couple hundred dollars all right let's keep on looking sunset's almost gone check it out we're almost there we're in that golden hour well another successful week in the books i've had uh, been on a run here lately it's been going really well for me i think after today i'm around 35 38 rings i don't know i've lost count i have to count them up for you but uh man they're they're out there and i guess i've just been timing it just just right you know right after memorial day everybody's out in the lakes and everybody in east texas and the in the, my regional area just goes to the lakes and it seems like they lost they lose it they lose it every week and so you can go on a monday and uh, get, then go back on a weekend and there's still plenty of stuff to be found and uh gosh and the catholic jewelry that i've been finding i i can open up a catholic jewelry store i have so much catholic jewelry Catholics need to learn how to hold on to their jewelry a little bit because preacher diggers are getting it all. But I enjoy it though. I enjoy it. But uh, I got had a good week this week and found uh, not as much as I did in the previous video. But I did have a good uh, week this week. So let me show you what I got. All right, here is my trash. There's all my aluminum. I've been dug a lot of that. The lake I was in had a, like a spot where there's just a lot of this aluminum. So I just kept digging it in case there was going to be a ring in there. The stuff you find in a swim area. How about that? That would hurt if they stepped on it. Uh, just miscellaneous stuff, some hair stuff, some glasses, aluminum caps, bottle caps, square tabs in the in the pull tabs, beaver tails. This was ringing up as, as a 96. Boy, I thought I had another huge silver ring. E-cigarette. Uh, found a phone. I found at least half of it in the battery. The other half is still out there somewhere. Got a pair of sunglasses, a couple of toys this time around. I haven't been digging a lot of toys, but I got an airplane and a, some little red truck. Here's my coins. I've got uh, $2.50 in quarters, and I've got uh, nine nickels. We've got 11 penny uh, dimes, and then we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 pennies. So quite a bit of change there. It's always really good. Here's my earrings. Ended up with uh, five different earrings and one there for H for Heim, my last name. How about that? Uh, I did get one CC's pizza token. A couple of bracelets. Carly lost hers. And then someone lost this one. And then, check that out. I found an Akaso. Oh, that thing's not zooming in. There it is. 4k camera it's not a real expensive camera it's only about 70 dollars but it's a nice case i may end up giving this away or something like that it works i looked at the uh, video footage it's just some pictures of kids at a lake and there's only about 10 pictures and 10 videos but just kids playing at the lake there was no identification on this and i have no clue how to get it back so preacher digger inherited him a new case so we're going to keep that one may do a giveaway with that one here's my necklaces got a little l necklace then I dug that. Uh, that's real shiny. I, it, I mean, it looks gold, but it's not. I can't find any 14 or any type of gold markings on it whatsoever, but it does look like gold, though. Uh, got me a uh, St. Christopher. It's silver. Uh, the chain is silver as well. You can see it's tarnished. It's been in there for a while, and uh, I'm going to try to clean that one up and get that looking really good. Again, Catholic jewelry right there. And then I've got my first rosary. Check that out. I mean, that thing is long. I don't know what they're doing with a rosary in the water and kissing, unless they're praying their way through uh, some prayers and stuff out there in the water, saying some penance. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, there's my cross. Uh, I, Preacher Digger got his cross. That's an episode. I like that. But man, I have been digging lots of Catholic jewelry. Uh, here are my rings. I got a stainless steel customized ring from Katie. I got a Her King ring. Uh, these are all stainless steel. Uh, kind of a nice stainless steel ring there and a nice Roy stainless steel ring there. They, they're not very expensive, $25, $30. Uh, come up here, I got another nice tungsten ring. And this is the first I've ever dug of that. And you look in the back of the ring and you can see it says cobalt. So it's a cobalt ring. That's really neat. 
And then this morning I went out and I found a 14K gold diamond ring. Check that out. That one's pretty, isn't it? A little bent up. I can straighten that back out. But anyway, got my gold. Got my gold. No silver time. No silver rings this time around. So check that out. Pretty good haul there. That's pretty good for, uh, I think I just went out uh, two days, something like that. And uh, three days. I think three days three different lakes I went to well there it is folks there's all the trash I dug and here's all the treasures that I dug and like I always say the greatest treasure isn't what you can go out and dig in a lake and put on your tailgate and make a wrap-up a video the greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven keep searching keep looking up until we meet again I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless mm -hmm.